The first thing you may have noticed with your new credit card chip is it takes a little longer when you're checking out. Instead of swiping your card, you insert it into the card reader. Mike Brent is vice president of marketing at Finan. It's a credit card processing center in Boardman. Brent says waiting those few extra minutes for the card reader to verify a chip card is worth it. The transaction does take a little bit longer, but that's really only because the amount of data that you're transferring is substantially greater than what you're transferring with a magnetic stripe. When you swipe your card at the checkout, all of your account information is in that stripe. The amount of information that was being uh, transmitted with the magnetic stripe was very simple. It was pretty much just your number, your expiration date, and the security code on the card. And all of your information will stay in the retailer's system, which can be hacked, as was the case with several big chains in 2014. Basically, uh, the information on there was easily accessible. Uh, to anybody who had a reader capable of reading what was on the stripe. But with the chip, your personal information is encrypted into what is called a token. Random series of letters and numbers that is then transmitted to the processor and it's decrypted there. So there is at no point with the chip uh, any of your information that is being displayed out in the open through any of the credit card process. And every time you insert your chip into a card reader, a new token is created. Now here's where your credit card chip won't work. When you go to buy something online, there obviously isn't a way for the retailer to read your card chip. Some cards have RFID chips. That means they have very low radio waves. Hackers are trying to stay up with this latest technology using scanners to get your card number. There has been some concern that anyone with a reader could potentially get close enough to your card and actually intercept those uh, radio waves coming from the card. But because the information picked up from the scanner is tokenized, it won't be valuable to hackers. The best thing you can do is always check your bank and credit card statements. That way, if you see anything unusual, you can report it right away. As to when you can go through a checkout line and not have to ask the question, do you chip or swipe? It's still going to take a little while until every store has a chip reader, but eventually every card and debit card will have a chip. In the studio, Christina Mullen, WKBN 27 First News.